Hi guys, um, my name is Liliana Fernandez um, and today I basically wanted to show you guys my progress of the journey I am in right now. Um, this progress or this journey so far, I'm Monday 116th, um, but this video is basically going to show from day 1 to day 112th. Um, so yeah, it's been about four months since I started um, and I just wanted to go over it with you guys like what I've been doing um, to become healthier and better, um, you know, food wise, um, exercise wise and just my progress and um, be real with you guys um, and show you guys exactly, you know, um, what I've done that's worked and what um hasn't worked for me as well um but i thank you guys for the support and motivation um so you'll be seeing you know um clips pictures um some of the things you guys actually probably have already seen um just because you know on a daily basis i have been recording what i've been eating um the exercise i usually try not to take my phone because i don't want any distractions so i do have a couple you know clips here and there of me working out but it's not as much as i probably should have but i hope you guys still enjoy it and like i said you know i thank you guys so much and i appreciate the motivation that i've had all this time uh, for me to keep going thank you this is the beginning of my journey this will be the first time I will reveal my starting weight and show you guys. I was embarrassed to take a picture of my actual weight, but um, you guys will see now. I was embarrassed to take a picture of my weigh-in, um, but I was letting my brother know that my official weight was 386 when I started on January 8th guys so this is my third day walking up the road on 19th avenue as you can see i'm sweating it definitely i almost wanted to give up um it felt a lot more harder this time um i just felt like my weight like i i know i'm heavy but as i'm coming up i just feel so much heavier like 10 times heavier and then so much harder for me to walk up but i didn't give up i made it i'm gonna try to do a little bit more walking before i go down uh thank you guys give me that support motivate me let me know that it just takes one day at a time one day at a time so i can keep pushing myself thanks guys bye day nine and i had lost eight pounds Here we are, another day. Day 16, we have lost five pounds. I'm starting to feel myself. Day 23, we have lost four more pounds. Guys, today we're doing the bicycle. Haven't done it in a while. As you can hear, I am out of breath. <laughs> but that's good. It means I got my cardio going. Day 30, and we have lost three more pounds, a total of 20 pounds. So guys, um, obviously by day 30 already, you know, I'm still struggling. I'm trying to motivate myself. Um, you know, my family and friends have been a big motivation, a big support for me. Thank you guys so much. Um, by this time, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm making healthier decisions on what I'm eating, what I'm, what my intake is and trying to exercise. Um, but one of the reasons why I wanted to start is because, you know, I have always been overweight. Um, since I've been little, I remember being big, you know, as I got older, obviously I just got bigger. Um, and I never had an issue with that, you know, I didn't have an issue with me being, um, overweight or that I was bigger because I was still happy. I still loved myself and I had no issue whatsoever. Um, but this past year I definitely felt like, you know, 
the weight had finally caught up to me and I had been the heaviest that I've ever been. And when I looked at myself, you know, I could honestly tell you guys that, you know, I didn't really take pictures of myself that much. Um, because when I saw myself, I saw this big blob. Like, literally, that's how what I saw. And I didn't like it. So, obviously, I made a decision, you know, to become healthier and, and do something about it. Um, and some of you guys might be aware or not be aware, but I actually ended up um, leaving my job that I had been at um, almost six years. Um, I left my job so I can focus on myself um, and become this, you know, better, healthier person for myself to take care of myself. Um, and I want to share it with you guys because, you know, I'm 28 years old and I'm barely... I barely decided to to make this decision um, and obviously it was not an easy decision um, because I'm the type of person that you know I know how important a job is the responsibility um, I'm a very dependable reliable person and you know I'm a very devoted person to my job as well and obviously you know if you want something you have to work for it. You know, things don't come easy. Um, they don't come handed to you. So, you know, me even making the decision of wanting to leave my job was definitely, you know, a struggle was something that I didn't just make overnight. But I also knew that I had to do this for myself because when I saw myself, I, I was lost. Um, so I knew I had to do something about that. So it's good. And then mushroom is good overall. So but far. Um, so this past week I weighed myself yesterday. No, today. So as you guys can see, um throughout my journey, especially in the beginning, um I was trying to do mukbangs. Mukbangs are basically, you know, uh, you're recording yourself while you're eating, while you're having a meal, um, and then you upload it into YouTube. So I was trying to do that, um, but I actually only did it for a couple of weeks. I was doing it basically on my cheat day. Um, I was having one cheat day a week, um, and on that day is when I was doing those videos um, and recording it, uploading it, um, but I actually, like I said, I only did it for a couple of weeks. And the reason why I had to stop was because, um, uh, I noticed that when I was doing these videos, as you guys could see, um, I was basically having, uh, fast food and it was large amounts. Um, so throughout the week, you know, I'm trying to eat healthy. Um, and on my cheat day, basically, uh, I am going all out. Um, so I started to notice that after that cheat day or that cheat meal that I was having, um, you know, my digestive system was slower again. Um, I was feeling tired, uh, for the next couple of days. Um, my body was literally taking three days to process that one cheat day or cheat meal that I had. Um, it would take like three days, um, to process that food. Um, and I didn't like it. I didn't like how I felt afterwards either. Um, so obviously I stopped it, um, because it didn't work out for me. Um, so actually now guys, I don't have cheat days or cheat meals. Um, what I do is normally if I am tempted, um, to have something, um, usually it's not fast food right now. Mainly it's, I'm still having cravings for like sweet things. Um, I do have it. I don't have what I usually used to have before the large portions, but an example is, um, you know, I'm not eating greens, bread, so I am having rice cakes, so I'll eat a rice cake with peanut butter. That's a substitution for me. That's something sweet. Um, I have had oatmeal. Oatmeal is a great substitution for me as well. Um, yogurt. Um, I do have Greek yogurt and granola. Um, not every day, of course, but 
uh, fruit I still have fruit as well I usually do eat fruit almost every day um, but um, like when it comes to like sweet things like donuts cake um, for the cake you know we've had birthdays we have parties we've had celebrations obviously I do get tempted um, I do have a couple of spoons of it but I've been able to resist it um, and been disciplined with it where I don't eat the whole thing um, I just take a couple of spoons of it or if mini donuts I have eaten one or two so um, even um, candy I'll have a chocolate or a candy um, but I won't eat the whole bar that same day um, I've been able to you know break it up into several days so I don't have the cheat meals or cheat days anymore just because you know I was overdoing it and I didn't like how my body was feeling because now I am focused on what I'm putting into my body. I'm listening to my body. My body's telling me when something, you know, is good for me and what is not good for me and how it makes me feel. So it's always good to listen to your body, guys, um, because it will tell you, you know, if something sits well and doesn't sit well. Um, and that actually has happened more to me now that I've noticed that, you know, the better I'm eating, obviously I'm feeling a lot more better, but there's still some things that I could tell right away, like, you know what, that didn't sit well with me, so next time either I'm going to need to eat less or I need to find a substitution for it as well. Um, but yeah, I hope that even though, you know, I tried that, um, you guys can definitely go watch my videos. I enjoy making them and hopefully maybe in the future I can continue it. Obviously, it's it would have to be, you know, less portions or um, different types of food. But I did enjoy making those videos. We are on day 43, guys, and we have lost a total of 24 pounds. Day 71, and we are officially down 30 pounds. So guys, obviously by this time, um, I'm just trying to exercise as much as I possibly can. Um, so I'm doing different things. Um, you know, instead of just doing the walking up the road, uh, by this point we have hiked. You know, we started hiking. I was able to do it, but obviously it was a huge struggle for me. I had to stop and pause as many times as I needed to be able to get up the mountain. Um, now it's easier, but I still do have to stop. It's not as many times, um, but you know, it's a lot more easier for me and that's a big accomplishment for me because I had never hiked before. Um, and I don't think I've ever completed it when I tried hiking before I was never able to complete it. So, you know, that's a, a big accomplishment for me that I was able to do that. Um, aside from hiking, you know, we would have our days where we're going to the gym, you know, doing either legs, arms, uh, booty. Uh, we're trying to do different things. Um, biking, you know, I started doing the biking as well, um, where I was biking at least 30, 40 minutes a day um, as my exercise. Um, I enjoy that as well because, you know, the weather, especially when the weather is nice, you want to be outside it you want to be outside instead of the gym um what else um when we go to the gym you know play some basketball um i was just basically trying to do some type of movement to get my exercise in and at least do 30 minutes every day um and so far till now i actually try to do more um i actually go without taking a day off and just do at least 30 minutes a day um, and it helps me it helps me stay focused and motivated um, because I feel like you know it just takes one day or one time you say no I don't want to do it I'm too lazy I'm too tired and you can fall off track so I try saying no um, the least I possibly can and say yes more uh, for those reasons. Um, so we definitely have been exercising at least every day for 30 minutes. I began to jog and walk this empty lot. That's a total of about two miles. Um, I try doing it every day. Day 91, we are down 39 pounds. 
And at the gym, we are pushing ourselves a little bit more every time we go. Trying new exercises and using more weight as well. Day 105 and we are down 44 pounds. Now I can't stop taking pictures of myself. Remember guys, I had been embarrassed to take pictures of my weight, but as the numbers were smaller, I couldn't wait but to see the numbers. I couldn't wait to see how much I had lost each week. It had been some time before I could actually enjoy myself like this and try to be more active for myself and my family. And the moment we've been waiting for guys to know what my progress has been, um, up to day 112. Um, so let's go ahead, drum roll please. 336 pounds for day 112. We are down a total of 50 pounds. This is just the beginning, guys, of my journey. Um, I'm so proud of myself, and I'm very thankful and grateful for the ones that have supported me, motivated me, uh, my family and friends. Um, and I hopefully this motivates um, more people as well to want to live a healthier lifestyle um, and not for anybody else but for themselves I'm doing this for myself um, but as you guys can see the progress it's been dedication it's been trying to be organized structured disciplined uh, plan planning um, very important obviously a lot of changes throughout the process as well um, but it's all it's on the will that we have to want to continue and want to make sure that we continue and that we can last longer in in living our lives so <clears throat> i hope guys that you guys enjoyed it please support me motivate me um because i want to i'm going to keep doing it i want to keep pushing myself um and right now guys just to let you guys know what's been working for me uh, to keep losing these pounds, um, you know, every morning I take a protein shake um, and then I have my second meal basically up around 1 or 2 p.m. Um, and then my last meal of the day, which is my third meal, is around 5 or 6. And obviously, you know, I cut certain foods out of my, my diet, but I'm... I'm I didn't cut them out completely that basically I'm depriving myself from them because I did notice in the beginning that when I would do that, I craved it even more. So like I said, you know, I still have a burger. I've gotten a, a burger from Burger King without the bun. You know what I mean? So obviously that has helped me. Um, nobody's trying to take anything away from us. We're just trying to make sure that, you know, we're educating ourselves and teaching ourselves that there is a better way of making these decisions because all decisions that we make, you know, we do have consequences for those decisions and it could be in a positive and negative way. Um, and right now that's the way that I'm trying to be is every decision that I make, I want it to be a positive one um for myself um so thank you guys so much um let's keep going and let's see how much more we can keep going um i actually have a weigh-in tomorrow so we'll see um how many pounds we've gone down um but even if it's just one pound you know i'm still grateful for it because at the end of the day it's going down and it's not going up and that's what i'm thankful for so thank you guys